The first thing you'll need to decide when shooting video with the Sony A6300 is which picture profile to shoot in. There is a bewildering array of options or nine different options you can choose from. So I thought I'd make this quick video just to show you how the different options look. And at the end of this video, I will tell you which of these options I have settled on. Hi, I'm Grant and I am currently putting the Sony A6300 through its paces for shooting video. One of the most time consuming parts of setting up this camera to shoot video so far I've found is deciding upon which of the many picture profile options to choose. There is nine different options, although I think options eight and nine are S-Log3 and I won't show you those because I'll show you picture profile seven which is S-Log2 which is probably probably maxing out this camera as it is so here is a quick video as I said earlier and this will just show you the different options and how they look I have shot all these in 4k and I've just down res them to a 1080 timeline so here's the pictures So many options. As with most things, this will depend on the look or the style you're after or the amount of post-production editing you're going to do. I have settled on Picture Profile 3, which is a Rec 709, quite natural look, and that's the style that I prefer. So then if I need to give it a look, I can do that back in the post-production. I hope that's of some use. Another video coming very soon on the Sony A6300, and thanks for your time recently received the A6300 which I'm currently putting through its paces but I just thought I'd do an initial test